Okay, now let's see. I gotta get Let's Go Help on here. This is for the paying members. <laughs> the others is just uh, eavesdrop and learn about these programs, okay? Uh, I would, you know, uh, do it all for free, but I gotta pay my mortgage and have people help me and pay that. So that's why I charge uh, on membership. It's, uh, it's only $20. I used to charge 2000 and stuff like that. And rich people would buy it, but uh, because they know I was helping millionaires become billionaires. <laughs> that's what I saw as, I see it as. But now, uh, boy, I mean, half the country makes less than $60,000 a year. You know, and what's interesting to me is, now let me get online here first and then I'll, we'll, we'll, I'll tell you about that. Here I go live, live from New York. It's Saturday night. <laughs> I used to do a lot of TV shows and I was uh, selling books and uh, at NBC. I remember I was never on Saturday Night Live, but uh, I was on the set. How is that? <laughs> Grant uh, 4, 18, 24. Okay. Uh, where is that? Uh, somebody just stole my headlines. 10%. Uh, Alone. Pay only ten percent loan. Uh, 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 Fifty K for business. Ooh, I'll get that. So you have to write it in like thirty words. <laughs> B I Z uh, and one million Well, I think that's it. <laughs> I can't get any Okay, now let's see. Um, let me okay, let me get on Let's Go Help Two first. And we have two platforms. You know, if you remember Let's Go Help, we have two places. We have a, a Facebook platform uh, that we started with and don't like that much anymore. I don't like the f Facebook uh, anymore because there's so many scammers that sneak in and they pretend they're me and all the kinds of stuff. So now we have another thing. So if you belong to our stuff, uh, you, you get both for the same price. So $20, you get both platforms. We answer questions both uh, places and, and help people on, on both places. But I got a list here. I got a, uh, of, uh, just today, today, I found these websites in the news today. Okay, I, and it's really, I do this to, to impress upon you how things change all the time. I mean, there's not just the one barrel of government grants, you know, <laughs> uh, that once you go through that barrel, you know, uh, and they've been there for a long time. I mean, sure, some of them are, and a lot of them are, uh, though, you know, Social Security and things like that. But the ones that are helping people with current problems are really just coming in and out like uh, the swinging doors of a saloon in those old Western movies, you know? <laughs> People coming in and out all the time. And there's new uh, programs coming in and old programs going out. So that's why you can't rely on me or anyone else to say, this is the definitely the only program or this. Anybody says anything definitely about a program are wrong. They're absolutely wrong because that may be right for one program, but there's millions of programs. So you can't do that. Uh, and, and that's what is so important uh, to realize that. And, and what, is, what is relevant to you is going to be irrelevant to everybody else. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really a process. And that's what Let's Go Help is all about, is learning that process. It's like learning to drive. I mean, sure, you could hail uh, Uber and, <laughs> and have somebody drive you somewhere, but you won't learn how to do it yourself. 
And that's what we do. And that's what only $20. And whether you use us or not, but you just use it. And you don't, I mean, I don't have magic or anything. There's no magic in life. The magic is in you, not in me or some huckster who promises you, you know, uh, living on the Riviera for the rest of your life. And that's all bullshit. It's not going to happen. So I mean, it's nice to fantasize. But you got to get down there and roll up your sleeves and do fucking something, will you? I mean, that's the only way. And, and, and you don't really know what to do. You don't, you don't know the right thing to do. All you know is the wrong thing to do. And that's what you're doing now <laughs> because it ain't working. So you got to do something else. <laughs> and that's what most of us do. We don't have to know exactly what to do. We just have to know that uh, it's not working now. So you can't keep doing the same thing if it ain't working. <laughs> you have to do something different. That's why you have to first get out of Google, out of Google, get out of Google. Please, 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 please get out of Google because that will get you just more in this stuff because what what we learn marketing people people who sell you stuff like me <laughs> learn what triggers you to buy something so we spend lots of money and time and effort and uh, scientific studies and everything to see the magic word about what you're going to buy and now with uh social media, you could test ideas. Before we used to market and direct mail. We'd send out a mail. It'd take two weeks to get there. It'd take two weeks to come back. And, and it'd take a month or two before to get any, if your mail was right uh, and, and it responded right. So now you do it in seconds. That doesn't work. You, you change the headline. That doesn't work. You change the headline until they figure out what, what tickles your fancy that you're going to open your wallet. And that's what Google does. And they spend a lot of time doing it. And they're good at it, better than you'll ever be. <laughs> at least better than I'll ever be. <laughs> so I know that. And I've been studying this stuff for 40 some years. So it, it, it's important that you just know one thing. What you're doing now is not wrong, you right? And you have to do something else. And number two, don't spend a lot of money doing it because you're going to have to find Find out what that really is for you. And, and if you start spending a lot of money in the beginning, you're gonna run, run out of money before you find out what works for you, okay? You have to be able to stay there long enough uh, to find out what works for you. That's why I, 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 what I'm doing is trying to uh, <laughs> cater to that because every website I give you never charges you money, <laughs> never charges you money. So you can keep learning and learning and learning until you put together what works to you. You're an artist, an artist of your own life, you know, and, and you have to create your own life. You're a Picasso of your life. You know, and you can't tell Picasso how to paint. No, it comes from his soul and from art or whatever. And that's what your life is the same way. It has to uh, roll out of you like that uh, and not be, put, you know, tell your life what to do. No, it's different. It's telling, turn it, telling the grass to be purple. No, that grass has to be green. And you, you, will, you, you will be best at doing what is best for you and inside you. And that's what you have to tap into. But it may not be easy. And you're going to have to fail a lot. It's like learning to walk. You're going to fail on your butt a lot uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, until you find out what, how to put those two feet together and go down the street. You know? <laughs> I got grandkids now. They're about one year old or so. It's fun watching them. Yeah, that's what it's about. <laughs> the kid fall on his ass 10 times, you know, at least 100 times. And see, the problem is, as a grown-up, uh, uh, friends and lovers don't, don't let you fall on your ass, right? You're going to fail. You have to fail. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to learn to walk if you don't fail. And they want to protect you. That's why some of your, your loved ones and friends are your worst enemies. They don't want you to fail. But you have to fail. <laughs> so get out there and fail. And don't spend a lot of money doing it. Uh, and that's why I see what happens is Google will tell you, oh, hey, you just give me $500, $5,000, whatever. Oh, I'll solve all your problems. Well, <laughs> you may, you know, get lucky or something to have, but mostly it doesn't. And if you have $5,000, you're not going to miss fine. You know, uh, you'll learn something. Uh, but if you don't, then you're just getting worse off before you get better off. <laughs> and so if you can't afford it, please don't. You know, it's not. Um and at the end of this, I mean, the, the list, I'm going to put this list with all the links that I talk about uh, are on these sheets and you don't have the sheet of paper, but the, the words on the sheets will be in, in the description on, on YouTube in the bottom. And uh, I could put it in, in the chat now on, uh, uh, on Let's Go Help 2. Uh, 
And ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, let me get that over there, and I'll tell you, uh, I'm so glad this opened. <laughs> Dwight, I am glad you're here. And I mean, don't forget, uh, the Let's Go Help members, you, you, you're the reason I'm alive. You know, I'm 80, man. I, I want to do this for another 10 years because I see the need. I mean, it, it, I mean, it doesn't work for everybody. Nothing does. You know, but I see so many people, uh, hundreds and hundreds of <laughs> members that are able to get this stuff and help their lives and help their neighbors' lives, help their family lives or whatever. That's what this stuff is for. It's not only for the rich people. Uh, now, here, uh, in here, what you're going to get when you get this, I have a list, uh, a chart in here that shows you, okay, these the grant, government grants are, not, by the economists, they're not called government grants, okay? They're called transfer payments, okay? <laughs> that means when the government gets something, you know, of money from taxes, then they transfer it back to other people, okay? Now, all these transfer payments, you know, come up to about $3 trillion. And it grows every year. During the COVID years, it went way up to like uh, four and five trillion dollars, but now it's down to almost about uh, three trillion dollars, two point nine, according to the Federal Reserve. <coughs> and but here's the percentage of people who get these grants or these transfer payments. If you want to sound like an intellectual, <laughs> you say, "Oh, grants? Oh, oh, you mean transfer payments?" Yeah. Oh, why didn't you say that? <laughs> That's what the bean counters call it, transfer payments. And they broke it down. There's a graph here. And, and you know who I helped me build this? Because I didn't find exactly what I wanted because I wanted current and stuff like that. It is uh, AI. I said, give me a graph showing <laughs> you know, uh, the amount of transfer payments uh, that how important it is to five quincentiles, that's the word of it, the name of quintiles, five segments of the population, by income. Okay, here it is. So what percentage of the income do people live on that is grants, or are grants, is grants, transfer payments? So what percentage of certain income categories are transfer payments? Okay, now what's more interesting, people making from 60,000 to a million or more, all those people, you know, and that's the, the third, uh, the third uh, quintentua, the third group, this, you know, if you break it down in 20%, you have 100% of the people, right? The first 20% is the lowest income. The second 20% is the second lowest income. The lowest income is up to $40,000. The second lowest income is 40,000 to 60. 40 to 60, so you got zero to 40, 40 to 60, then you got 60 to 90. So that's zero to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 90. Then the fifth one is 90 to 130, okay? Now the top 20% is 130 and more. Okay, now the top 30%, the top 20%, people making $130,000 or more, they still get 10% of their money comes from uh, grants. <laughs> it's amazing. And, and the people in the 90 the, the, to 130, they get 15% uh, of their money in grants. Well, let me say this, some, uh, some of this... Uh, Faded a little bit. <laughs> uh, oh, here it is. Okay, so they got uh, ten percent. So the top, you know, the top twenty percent, one hundred and thirty or more, they get ten percent of their money from grants. So that means the average family is getting at least, you know, uh, ten thousand, twenty thousand of grants. And yeah, wouldn't you like that? Okay. Uh, now the second highest income from ninety to one hundred and thirty, they're getting. 15% of their income in grants. So they're getting more than the richest. So the second richest are getting 15% of their money in grants. That's why you think that this is only for the poor? These are, no, no. Make a million dollars and you're getting these grants, okay? Okay, now the third, which is in the middle, so we have five categories, and that's from 60 to 90, 
they're getting 20%. 20% of their income comes from government grants. 20% of the income of people making sixty dollars to $90,000 a year are getting grants. 20% of the income. So if that's 90, so 10, 20% means 990, that's almost $20,000, okay? So they're getting about that. Okay, now in the second to the bottom tier, that's 40 to 60, okay? They're getting 25% of their income is in grants. So that's six and 20, so that's again like 18,000, 20,000, something in there, okay, they're getting. So if you make 60 to $90,000, uh, you're getting an extra 20,000 or more in grants. Now, if you're the lowest income, and that's from zero to $40,000, you're getting 30%, okay? Now, what's amazing to me, the people 60% or less, uh, I mean, $60,000 or less, people making $60,000 or less from zero to $60,000, you know, they're getting only 55% of the amount of grant money available. Okay, you hear that? Uh, the people who are making $60,000 or less are only getting 55% of the grant money available. That means all the people making over $60,000 are getting 45% of the money. So that's why people like to say, oh, this is only for pe poor people. Because what happens, they call one or two offices, and that may be for poor people. You know? and, but they're all not that way. Obviously, 45% of the money goes to people over making more than $60,000. <laughs> then it really isn't that, is it? <laughs> and, and that's important. I got this graph, and, and it'll be in the report on the bottom, too, uh, to make sure you know what is going on out there and, and how to best use it. Uh, and <laughs> because you, you just can't, um, well, it's hard to find people who are not, are not biased in what they tell you. We're all biased, okay, no matter what. That's why you have to find people that don't make money off you to learn what's there. If you're going to people who make money off you, then you're just gonna get too biased of an opinion about anything to really be a, to make a good judgment about what the hell to do in life. And there's lots of people who do that. Now, in the bottom of this report, I show you if you want to solve your uh, 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 problems with uh, expenses and living expenses and debt and things like that, I'm gonna, I have a video at the bottom of this report that will show you how to get free experts to help you do that, okay? They're all free. They will never make money from you. They don't want money from you. And they just know the programs and how to make you do that, okay? And that's important to do that, is to talk to people who, who, who are in the business that already get paid. They don't have to get paid from you to help you with that problem. It's like a priest, right? <laughs> yeah. you know, well, sometimes you do. <laughs> it depends on the priest. Uh, uh, and that's what's available. And also for business, people trying to, you know, want to be a real estate investor, want to start a little business or whatever. Okay, you got to first, before you spend a nickel, a dime or anything, you go to talk to people who are professional in helping you decide how the best business for you to get into and help you think that. Now, I'll have that in the bottom uh, of this report. I just put it on the uh, Let's Go Help 2 in the chat there. Uh, we have it, okay? Uh, now, let's go through the, the these uh, new programs because uh, they're interesting to me. Like, now, I don't know if you have an EDIL loan. From the, remember the uh, COVID? They had EDIL grants and EDIL loans, and they were real cheap, like 3% or whatever, uh, and you could get like a million dollars or more. Well, now they're coming due. They give you like three years you didn't have to pay. <laughs> and now you do. You have to pay the piper. But, listen to this, but wait, there's more. If you can't afford to pay the loan, they have a, a oh, it, for, if you're facing hard, it's called a hardship program. And so you only have to pay 10% of your payments. Say your payments are going to start and they're maybe, you know, $1,000 a month. Well, you only have to pay 100 
for like six months or so until you try to dig yourself out of this problem. Then you go back and ask him for a more kind of uh, hardship grant. So there's always hardships, you know, and they and it gets down to 10%. Another thing is one of our members, and I'm trying to get her to share her information with other people, uh, Tula, is she, she got her IRS forgiven down to 10%. So 90% of her tax due was forgiven down a, a, a 10%. She owed a 50 grand. She had to pay only 5,000, 5, okay? <laughs> and it was through what's called an offer in compromise. The IRS has that. She didn't have to hire an attorney or anything and got it down to that way. So you can do that too, okay? Here, here's a deadline for a program. Uh, uh, the deadline is March 29th, and this is in Indiana. And what they're doing is giving $25,000 to $50,000 to start a business. So come with your business plan. Uh, go to a, a free office that will help you write a business plan. And then you submit this and try to get $25,000 or $50,000. Now, the same organization, uh, and, and this is in uh, uh, Indiana, is giving out a thousand dollar grant if you have an idea to attract tourists. So maybe you own a restaurant or bar or something and you want to throw a party on the street or whatever and you need an extra thousand dollars. It's that. It's trying to uh, create, you know, tourism and fun things happening. Uh, we throw a lot of parties in, in our, our apartment building. It. Well, I do. <laughs> but it's fun. Now, here's another neat one. Uh, uh, oh, and that, that deadline for 50 grand actually is $25,000 or $50,000. Uh, and the deadline is March 29th. Okay. Now, here's another one for $10,000 for a local farmer's men, uh, market to promote. Marketing for a farmer's market. So if, you ha if you're in a farmer's market and you're selling something, whether it's your bread <laughs> or, or your carrots you're growing out in the backyard or whatever, uh, I still haven't figured out how to file for a grant. A little help, please. Oh, Bruce, yes. <laughs> okay, you have to ask for help. Right, uh, and, and that's available, $10,000 uh, to promote local farmer. The uh, deadline for that is April 15th. Uh, Oh, here's interesting. Uh, the New York is is giving now a thousand dollars extra for people who who, who have income. If you're going to college and your income is less than a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, so up to hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, you still get a school grant, uh, and actually you go for free for anything. But now they have an extra thousand uh, dollars they're giving out for people making up to hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Uh, uh, to help pay for school. But in New York City, I mean, in New York, the whole state, you could go to their state schools for free for a, if, with incomes up to $125,000. That's why you see people think, oh, I have to be poor to do this. No, here's $125,000. So they're in the top 20% almost. No, they just missed it. <laughs> so they're in the top 80%. Uh, or the, not the top 20, but the top 25% at $125,000, okay? Uh, that's a, here, here's interesting. Accounting schools are now preparing taxes for free. And if your income is under $79,000, so $79,000, uh, you are getting, oh, the people making $79,000 or more are, are getting a bunch of... Uh, what is it, 15 and 15, uh, 20. So they're making uh, almost 30 or 40% of their income is coming from current government grants. And now they're going to get free tax returns because they don't make 80,000. They only make 79,000 and you can get it free. So how are you going to find out where you could get yours free? Very easy. You go to findhelp.org and put in taxes. There'll be nonprofit organizations, the same as this. They get trained by the IRS. They help you fill out your taxes for free and also call the IRS directly. I mean, if you go up local assistance for the IRS, you can make an appointment with an IRS person, okay? Uh, uh, deadline, guys, it's very important. Uh, what's the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau deadline? Uh, what's that, Megan? Uh, no, Mega knows her stuff. Uh, learn more about consumerfinance.gov. Yeah, consumerfinance. Uh, must be 
Uh, urgent opportunity to cancel student loan debt and soon. Many student loan borrowers with federal loans have an opportunity of a full student cancellation of more than credit towards cancellation uh, through the U.S. Department of Education one-time payment count adjustment. They must be they must act before uh, April 30th. Most federal help student loan, federal health student loans will receive an automatic adjustment, but borrowers with these type of loans must consolidate first to maximize the benefit. Yes. Megan's right. That's another good thing. So see that. You remember in that, if you're not a member, go to studentaid.gov, studentaid.gov. And also this, this description she has is the Consumer Finance Protection Agency. And so it's consumerfinance.gov and put in a uh, search for uh, uh, student loans. And you'll see this, this, it's all about it there. And they have a federal number to call at this, uh, at studentaid.gov there. So you can con contact, here's their 800 number, 800-433-3243. 800-433-3243. Now, when you call those numbers and everything, I mean, you may have to wait on the phone for 20 minutes. You put it on speaker, go get a milkshake or a beer or wine or <laughs> make love, whatever you want until you get somebody on the phone, you know, and, and there, because somebody's going to save you 20, 30, $40,000, man. You should wait a, a day, a year <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, to get help because it, it, it's, you're not, otherwise you're going to pay for that. You're going to have to pay for it. Uh, and, and you don't want to do that. Uh, I have nine different programs to forgive and debt. Yes. Uh, that's right. So if you go to studentaid.gov, they have two tabs. One is forgiveness tab and one is uh, loan payment tab. And they both have ways to get out of there. And so that's the way to get the nine programs that, that uh, uh, Megan is talking about. Okay, where am I here? County schools give it for free. Oh, here's interesting. Virginia, and they're doing this a lot. We have a housing problem, okay? Everybody knows that. Uh, and so when there is a problem, that means the government announces grants to solve the problem, okay? That's what they do, <laughs> and that's important. Uh, now, here's what Virginia's doing, and that if Virginia's doing, that means a lot of them are doing. Now, here's what the Virginia did. The Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development administers this program, Affordable and Special Needs Housing Loans. So they're giving out loans for people to build these kinds of things, which combine state and federal resources to provide a simplified and comprehensive application process. So here's where you could find a million dollars to get somebody to help you fill out the paperwork to, to do a big real estate project if you're into that. Uh, and it, the funding comes from four sources. See, they put it all together. That's why if you're doing this yourself, you have to find out this program. The one is called the Home Investment Partnership Program, or HOME, the Federal National Housing Trust, which is NHTF uh, Fund, Housing Innovation and Energy Efficiency, HIEE, and the Virginia Housing Trust Fund. So that's four or five organizations they put together, put all this money for you to get. Okay, uh, this fund is this is funded by the Commonwealth and supports financing for housing construction projects that create or preserve. So you want to rehab and things like that. Affordable housing units reduce the cost of affordable housing and increase home ownership. The funding is key source to financing all these affordable housing initiatives to support moder moderate and low income families as well as supporting homeless reduction grants to provide rapid housing and longer, longer term housing solutions for individuals experience chronic homelessness. If you're interested in housing for yourself or you want to be in a business to help housing people, you make appointments with people in your federal, state, and local government that are in charge of that. That's where the money's going to come from. And you want to know about that. And you want to get inside and let them know about you. So you know what they have and that you, they know what you have. <laughs> and, and, and that's important. Now here's another nonprofit organization uh, that, that helps people. And, and uh, where is it? Okay, yes, okay. Uh, it's called, it's in Colorado. 
and they get a whole bunch of money, like they just spent $20 million, and this is a nonprofit organization helping people who need help paying rent, helping people who need help paying utilities, and listen, listen, they help people who need help moving. You need money to move, okay? Or they help people find rental program, from rental. You need a place to rent. They help you. See, that's where you have. You can't go to Zillow or uh, uh, advertising and looking for places. No, get the pros because they're helping people like you all the time. They're free. These nonprofit organizations that help you with housing and things like that, they will never charge you money. That's what you want because otherwise you're going to go out there and compete in, in, in a bowl of soup that's full of sharks, you know, that are going to get money from you that you don't have. So you have to stay away from there. Get the nonprofits to help you. And the way you do that uh, for housing, you just go to findhelp.org, F-I-N-D-H-E-L-P.org, and, and look for housing. And get on the phone, people, and talk to people. If you're just looking at those words and think you know what they mean, no, that's going to work. You know, because none of them will have your name on it. But the people that are there will know where it is for you, or they're more likely. So they're better talking to them than anybody else with your home in progress. Because they're in the business of helping people with problems like you. They probably helped 100 people today or whatever. So they're going to go more about what's out there and, and, and what may be best for you. And that's why you have to do that. And that's the way to get ahead and all this kind of stuff. And, and it's not going to Google and uh, finding somebody who's going to make money off you. Because, I mean, if you have a lot of money, God bless you, you do it. But you don't, I assume. <laughs> but, <laughs> and, and see, the other people that do it for free, they don't have advertising. The people who get money from you have advertising money, so they spend a lot of money trying to find you, then once they find you, they gotta get money off of you. <laughs> or else they can't find the next person. You know? And that's how it works. So you stay away from that, go to people that do this for free, and I would love to do it for free, but my banker says that he still wants the mortgage. <laughs> so I have to do that. Uh, uh, I have a walkthrough now, and I can't connect with people when they have that need. Okay, you see what Megan's doing? Now she, Megan's a member and is helping people uh, who are other members of this. Megan knows a lot of stuff about this. She teaches, she took a, 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 a course that the government gives anybody for free how to be a f free financial counselor. That's right. And that's local, your local county cooperative extension service will train you for free to be a financial counselor. Now you have to volunteer for them to do it because they want to help people for free. But then you could use the service yourself now that you have the, have the skill. And after you do that, then you can learn how to turn money out of it and make an income out of it. Yeah. Uh, and I, uh, you have a walkthrough. Is that you buying real estate, Megan? Oh, okay. Well, I got to go too. We got company coming and my wife's recovering from an operation and she can't, she's going to screw up the kitchen. She can't see much. So I better get in there and make sure she's doing it right. Okay. I'll see you. Love you so. And thank you for giving me an opportunity to try to help people. Uh, and anybody wants to help other members like Megan and um, Charity and other people, and Tammy do here, uh, let us know. Misty will help you get you set up so you could give your heart to other people because it feels so good to do that. So that's why it's very selfish. So be a selfish son of a bitch and come with us and help other people. <laughs>